Hello, my name is Ethan Cortez and I'm a Services Specialist for Academic Technology here at SF State. In this video, I'll be introducing you to Microsoft's Copilot, which is a generative AI chatbot that is now available to all faculty, staff, and students. I will show you how to access and log into Copilot, explore the interface, and teach you how to input prompts. Using Copilot is just one little thing you can do to discover opportunities with generative AI and enhance your workflow. You will access Copilot by going to copilot.microsoft.com and you will sign in using your SF State ID number at sfsu.edu and your SF State password. Once signed in, you will see what is Copilot's homepage. Starting from the top left, we see the tab labeled Copilot, and to the right of that, another tab labeled Notebook. For the most part, you can stay on the Copilot tab, but if you have more complex prompts or are dealing with a large amount of text, then Notebook might be better for your needs. Moving to the right, along the top, we see a green shield with a little check mark. This is informing us that our data is being protected and is not being used for training the AI. This is because we have a licensed version of Copilot provided by SF State. Below the suggested prompts is the main component of the chatbot, the chat input box. This is where you will input prompts and start a conversation or new topic with the chatbot. Once you send off your first prompt to the chatbot, you will have started a topic. When you get a response from the chatbot, you can easily copy it by clicking the copy button, which will be located directly beneath the text output that Copilot creates for you. If you want to add an image or file, you can do so by clicking into either the image or file icons located to the right of the text entry box. What's great about Copilot is that it itself can even guide you on how to use it effectively. To do this, type the following phrase into the text box at the bottom that says, ask me anything. We're going to type in, teach me about Copilot and how to use it. Now that we have an output for our prompt, we can refine it by responding with additional requests, details, or inquiries. In this example, let's have Copilot add additional information about the proper practices for using chatbots. In the chat box, type in, now tell me how to use Copilot safely. Copilot has generated some pretty good suggestions about follow-up prompts which have appeared just above the chat box. Let's test one of these. This can be done simply by clicking on the desired suggested prompt. Congratulations, you've successfully had a conversation with a Gen AI chatbot. Experimenting with Copilot, writing interactive prompts, or just playing around with the tool are great ways to familiar yourself with AI chatbots. This can help you develop a deeper understanding of how they work and possibly discover ways in which AI chatbots can be utilized in your work or your life. Copilot is just one little thing offered by SF State. You can find more information about Copilot and other technologies on Academic Technologies' support website, athelp.sfsu.edu. That's all for this video. If you're interested in learning more tips and tricks, check out more videos on one little thing.